Last night in Game 2, it was a pitcher's duel between Atlanta's Tom Glavin and Cleveland's Dennis Martinez, both shutting down the other's team until the top of the eighth. With a man on third and first, Cleveland's Carlos Barrega comes to the back. Barrega steps to the plate, hits a slow grounder to Belliard. Lofton's going home, Belliard fires home, and Lofton scores! Now in Game 3, John Smoltz takes the mound for Atlanta and Charles Nagy for Cleveland. Let's go down to the field for the action. Coming to bat, the Marquise Grissom. Grissom. Up to bat first, and Charles Nagy is on the mound for Cleveland. He's a righty. So we we'll roll a 788 on the pitcher card. That's going to be a single. That will be a ground ball single to center field for Grissom. Coming to that bat, brings in Luis Polonia up now playing left field. A 17. That's going to be an E. There's our error. Let's see who's going to be a 1. That's going to be on the pitcher. Let's see what the pitcher's error rating is. He has a 9. Let's roll on the 9. He rolls a 93. So that would be a hard grounder to second base. There's a hard grounder. Man on first. And that's going to be a double play. So that would be... Four, six, three, or two out. It's gonna bring up Chipper Jones now. Chipper Jones throws a seven thirty-six off Nagy's card. That's gonna be a high fly ball to left field for the third out. All right, bottom of the second. John Smoltz is on the mound for Atlanta. Coming Kenny to Lofton's up the bat. Kenny Lofton, seven thirty-nine against a lefty. Off the pitcher card, that's going to be a slow grounder to first base for the first out. Homer by skill up now. By skill. Eight thirty-nine. Off the pitcher card against a lefty. It's going to be a strikeout. Coming to bat. Carlos uh, Barrega's up Carlos now. Barrega. Nine twenty-six. Off the pitcher's card against a lefty. Nine twenty-six will be a base on balls. Coming to bat. Brings Over up Albert Bell. Bell now. Albert Bell. He rolls a twenty-eight. That's going to be on the error section. Let's roll. Rolls a three. That's going to be on the catcher. Let's go look at the catchers. Catcher tonight is Javi Lopez. His error is a six. So the catcher, he's a six. Let's roll two die. He rolls a 24. That'll be a routine grounder with a man on first. Go to that chart. Routine ground with a man on first will be a runner out of second. Batter safe at first. That's the third out, and that's the end of the inning. Albert Bell hits into a 4 3 grounder. Top of the second, we got Fred McGriff, David Justice, and Ryan Klesko do up. Coming to bat. So, first base. Griff's up the bat Ryan versus McGriff. Nagy. 396 versus a righty. That's going to be a strikeout on McGriff. Here in the second. Coming to bat. David right Justice field. now. David Justice. It was a 925. He's a lefty coming off the pitcher's card. 925 will be a base on boss. Coming to bat. Ryan Klesko so now. Ryan Klesko. 868. It's going to be off the pitcher's card again with a lefty. It will be a strikeout. Coming to bat. See we got Javi Lopez up Javi now. Lopez. Rosa 858. The righty on the pitcher's card will be another strikeout for Nagy. So three strikeouts to get out of the inning. Leaving David Justice stranded here in the top of the second. To Bottom of the second, Eddie Murray up now. Eddie Murray. 727. That would come off the pitcher's card, and he'll be a lefty. Will be a high fly ball to left field for the first out. Jim Tomey up now. Jim Tomey. 905. He's a lefty off the pitcher card. That's going to be a strikeout for the second out. Manny Ramirez now. Manny Ramirez. 890. And he's a righty. That's off the pitcher card. 890. That's going to be another K for the third out. And that is the end of the second inning. Still 0-0. Zero to zero. Top of the third. Lemke up now. Mark Lemke. 531. It's going to come off the pitcher's card against a lefty. OFR outfielder range is a lefty. Two die for a lefty spray hitter. He rolls a 70. That's going to be into the gap. LC. Fielder is a left fielder into the gap. Left fielder, which is going to be Albert Bell. Just AA. 
into the gap. And that's going to be a, will be a diamond catch. So Albert Bell comes in, makes a diamond catch to stop Mark Blimpke from getting a hit and possibly turning it into a double. Back. Raphael Belliard up now. Raphael Belliard. Throws a 960 for a righty on the pitcher's card. That's going to be a hard grounder to the shortstop. That brings Grissom back up. 869. A righty off the pitcher's card. That's going to be a strikeout. And a 1 2 3 in for Nagy. Moves him along here. Bottom of the third. We got Sorrento up. Sorrento. It was a 712. He's a lefty, so off the pitcher's card, 712 will be a slow grounder to shortstop for the first out. Sandy Alomar up now. Sandy Alomar. 622 off the pitcher's card for a righty. That's going to be a liner to center field for a single. Kenny Lofton back center up. The man Lofton. on first. He rolled a 376 against a righty. 376 will be a routine grounder to second base with a man on first, runner out at second, batter safe at first. Coming to bat. Buskell back up. 218 gets a righty. That's going to be a home run. And that's going to be a two run shot by Buskell, bringing in Lofton, and the Indians go up 2 to 0. Barrega's up now. Carlos Barrega. 695 will be a slow grounder to shortstop. That'll be the third out. The fourth, Luis Bologna is up again. He rolls a 560 off the pitcher card, a lefty. IFR, so we're on the infield range chart. Bologna is a lefty, so lefty spray hitter. Two die. 41 will get us a up the middle. Second base, that's going to be an A, roll two die. And he rolls a 52, which is going to be a lunging grab. And the key tells us, Fielder makes lunging grab on a sharply hit ball. Off balance throw is just in time. Batter out at first. So Polonia hits into a 4-3. That brings up Chipper Jones. Base. Chipper Jones. 456. Will be off his card with a righty. That's going to be a high fly ball to center field. That brings up McGriff. Red McGriff. He rolls a 111 against the righty. 111 will get him a hard grounder to second base. And that's the end of the top of the four. Still 2 to 0. Albert Bell up. Albert Bell. Rolls a 678. Righty on the pitcher's card. 678 will be a slow grounder to third base. Eddie Murray now. Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray rolls at 808, and he's a lefty. So we go on the pitcher's card, 808. Will be a deep fly. Go to the deep fly chart, and we've got to find our location. Rolls at 8, deep fly. He's a lefty spray, so it'll be LC. That's going to be the center fielder. We need to find out his power rating. Eddie Murray, his power rating is a versus right. He's an excellent. So let's roll on the excellent chart. He rolls a 89, be a 19. If distance is greater than or equal to the wall distance. So he rolled a 19. It will result in a home run, and I believe that this park is a 19. Let's see, uh, LC, fence height is a 19. And it says 19. If the distance number generated is greater than or equal to the appropriate wall distance, the result is a home run. And it is a 19. And that is a solo shot by Eddie Murray to make the game 3 to 0 now. And John Smoltz is getting rocked here early. The first four in is giving up three runs. That's going to bring up Jim Tomey now. Tommy. He rolls a 672. He will come off his pitcher's card. Lefty 672 will be a high fly to right field for the second out. That brings up Manny Ramirez now. Manny Ramirez. Rolls a 623. Off the pitcher's card. A righty. 623 will be a liner to center field for a single. So Ramirez is on. That brings up Paul Sorrento. Paul Sorrento. 546 off the pitcher's card, a lefty. That's going to be OFR, outfielder range. Let's see who it is. Outfielder range. He is a lefty, so he's a lefty spray hitter. 
I'll fill range play location chart. Let's roll over here. On that two die, we roll A9. Nine is gonna be over the head, right filled. Go to over the head, right filled. Let's get his uh it'll be David Justice. His range is a double A over the head. It'll be a running grab. So that's gonna be a great running catch by David Justice over his head that's going to be the third out robin sorrento possibly the rbi and after four it is three to zero right top of the fifth we got justice plus go lopez right do up fielder, david justice. justice up the bat 218 that will be the a base on balls coming that brings up klesko ryan klesko Rolls a 516 that's going to be a wild pitch a pass ball let's go to that chart Okay, let's see. Uh, there's a man on first. Base is empty. What runner's on? Pass ball, Raiden. I think that's the catcher. He's got an average. His is unlikely. Average unlikely. The catcher and the pitcher. Roll two die. Rolls at 89. That's going to be a block. And block down in the key says, catcher blocks pitch in the dirt. Runner holds. All right, so let's go. Still up there. He rolls a 500. He'll be on the pitcher's card versus the lefty. That is another wild pitch in that. And we got average and unlikely again. This time's a 39. And that's going to be a wild pitch. WP. Wild pitch. Or runners advance one base. So Justice moves up the wild pitch. Let's go waiting on the next pitch. This time it's an 880. That will be a strikeout for the first out. Avi Lopez up now. Avi Lopez. Throws a 441 against a righty. And that's going to be a pop out to second base for the second out. Mark Lemke up now. Mark Lemke. He rolls a 776 against a lefty on the pitcher card. A ground ball single to center field. Let's see if that can bring in the runner. So it'll be a GCF. Shows even. Runner on second and third scores. So he's on second. He's going to score on the single to the center field. And Atlanta gets their first run. Making it 1-3. to three. And that's going to bring up Rafael Belliard Rafael now. Rafael Belliard. 981, a righty on the pitcher's card. Hard grounder to shortstop for the third out. 6 3 put out. Go to the bottom of the fifth now. Sandy okay. Alomar up. Sandy Alomar. 374 against a righty. That's going to be a strikeout. Four strikeouts for Smoltz. Coming to Kenny back. Lofton Center now. Further. Kenny Lofton. 891, a lefty on the pitcher card. That will be a another K. Pascal up now. Omar Pascal. Rose a 369 on his card against a righty. Be a hard grounder to second base for the third out. And after five, it is now three to one. Top of the six. Snaggy's still in there. He's got a fatigue rating of seven. Center fielder. Grissom up the bat. Rose a 197. That'll be off his card against a righty. Marquise Grissom hit, uh, hits a long fly out to center field. Kenny Lofton tracks it down for the first out. Coming to bat. Polonia, Polonia up now. Polonia. Rolls a 86 off his card against a righty. 86 will get us a ground ball single to center field. Coming that brings bat. up Chipper the Jones. Chipper Jones. 728 off the pitcher card of lefty. And that's going to be a high fly to left field for the second out. Coming and we've got McGriff up now. Baseman. Fred McGriff. Rose a 999, which will be a off the pitcher's card. That'll be a hard grounder to second base. And that ends the end, the top half of the six. Still three to one, Cleveland. All right, bottom of the six. John Smoltz has a fatigue rating of seven. Coming to bat. So and Barrega is up. Carlos Barrega. And we get us a 106. Off his car for a righty. 106 will be a ground ball single to the center field. Brings up back. Albert Four Bell now. Fielder. Albert Bell. Bell rolls a 458. Will be off his card against a righty. The eight will be a pop up to second base. Coming Eddie Murray, back. who's been the hot okay. one this series, Eddie is up Murray. now with a man on. 
He rolls a 110 against a righty. That will be a hard grounder to second base. This could end up being a double play. Hard grounder with a man on first. Double play. Runner out at second. For the second and third out. And that is the end of the six. Still three to one. Cleveland Indians. Top of the seventh. David Justice David out now. And this is Nagy's fatigue rating after this uh, inning. And we get a 269. Will be a base on balls for David Justice. Let's go up now. Ryan Klusko. He rolls a 52. That's going to be an E. E, let's roll a die. Rolls a 2. That's going to be on the catcher. That's going to be Sandy Olimar. We get us a 38. That's going to be a P. A little pop out to the catcher. And Klusko is out. That's going to bring Coming up back. Lopez. Javi Lopez. He rolls at 8.24. Four will be a strikeout for the second out. And that brings out Mark Lemke now. Mark Lemke. And we get us a 2.91. Triple, it looks like. CFW. Third base shows triple. CFW, long drive to the wall. Center field of the fields. All runners score. Batter to third. So Lemke with a big clutch hit there to bring in David Justice to make it 2-3. to three. And he's on third with a triple. And that brings up Belliard. Can he get a hit to tie this game up? 676. Deep fly. Let's go to the deep fly chart. Okay, deep fly. Belliard's already. Let's see. Uh, and we get a two. So it'll be a right spray hitter. Two. Left fielder and uh, Belliard's uh, power is a is poor, so he's gonna need a real high roll. And he doesn't get it. It's a 24. That's gonna be a long fly batter out. Belliard hits a long fly ball out to left field. Albert Bell is there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Now three to two, going into the bottom of the seventh. Tommy up now, Smoltz and his fatigue in it now after this one. 74 against a righty. That's going to be a liner to second base. Manny Romero's up now. Manny Romero. And he rolls a 302. And that's going to be a base on boss. Paul Sorrento. Paul Sorrento. Rolls a 185 against a righty. And that's going to be a two run shot. By Paul Sorrento down the right field line. And this has just opened the game back up for the Cleveland Indians with a two run shot, making it five to two now. And that's going to put an end to John Smokes. Just when Atlanta got back in the game, Brad Klontz is coming in now. And that brings up Sandy Olimar here in the bottom of the seventh. Throws a 782 against a righty. A ground single out to center field for Sandy Olimar. And things are still going for the Cleveland Indians this inning. Coming to bring up Kenny Lofton now. Kenny Lofton. He rolls a 101. That's going to be another single. Ground ball single to center field. Move uh, Alomar up to second. And that brings up Vizquel now. Who hit the home run. Two run shot in the third inning. And he rolls a 509. 509 will be a wild pitch. Pass ball. And we got to roll dice and use a foul. Well, there's a guy on first and second. Pull runners on. We got to get the catcher's uh, pass ball. Javi Lopez pass ball rating is a, uh, so it's a FR. And the pitcher's is, uh, is wild pitch rating. FR and rare. Let's roll on that. 76, and that will be a block pitch. Runners hold. That uh, Vizquel still up the bat. And he rolls a 614. Be a slow grounder to second base with a runner on. First to second, same as first. It's that runner on second to third. So let's check out uh, Lofton Speed. Lofton Speed is a two, so it is equal or greater. So everybody moves over. And Alomar over to third. Lofton makes it to second. Vizquel is going to be out with the 4-3 put out. For the second out with a man on third and second now. That brings up Barrega. Coming to bat. 
Rega up with two outs. The man on second and third. He rolls a 603, a lefty on the pitcher's card. It's going to be a slow grounder to second base for the third out. So he strands those two runners. The Indians get two more runs, making it five to three now. I'm Top the of the eighth the now. And Grissom's up the bat. And uh, Nagy is out. They, uh, and they're bringing in the lefty, Paul Asimacher. And we rolls a 351. It will be a routine grounder to a shortstop for a 6-3 out. Polonia up now. Luis Polonia. 596. Hit batter. That brings up Chipper Jones now. Chipper Jones. Rolls a 565. Will be a slow grounder to shortstop. See slow grounder to shortstop. Put the man on first. Let's check out his rating. Sorrentos. The greater than two. It is. Oh, Polonia. That's who's on. Sorry. It is greater. So Chipper Jones will be out on a 6-3 put out for the second out. But that moves the runner up. That brings up Coming Fred back. McGriff. So first baseman, Fred McGriff. 8-10. And that's going to be a strikeout for the third out here in the top of the eight. Still 5-2. All right, bottom of the eight. Clance is still in there. Albert Bell. Rose 3-53. Against the righty off the batter's card. That'll be a K. Albert Bell. Coming Eddie Murray up now. And he's back. One for three with that solo shot. 255. Long fly ball to center field. Tommy up service. now. Jim Tommy. Rolls in 961. Hard, hard ground ball to second base. And that ends the eight inning, and it is five to two. Cleveland Indians for the ninth. Atlanta down five to two. The Indians have brought in their closer, Jose Mesa. Shut the game Coming down, up. go up two games to one. David Justice. And 233, base on balls. Justice is on for the fourth time tonight. He just needs Klesko to do something behind Coming him. Back. Brings up Klesko yeah. now. Ryan Klesko. He rolls a 15 E. Let's roll and see who it is. It's going to be a six. That's going to be the shortstop. Vizquel. His error rating is a 10. Rose a 35. RG plus. Let's see what RG with a runner on first. Could be a double play. With runner on first, double play is turn. If player's turn pivot has a plus rating. So does he have a plus rating on it? Pivot ratings are found after the range rating which he does not have anything there. So let's see, a double play is turn if he has it. So no is no double play, but David Justice will be forced out on a 6-4. He's on, he's one out and he's on the fielder's choice. That Coming brings up Javi Lopez. Javi Lopez. He rolls a 8-0-3, a strikeout for the second out. That brings up Mark Lemke now. Mark Lemke. 529. A line and single into center field for Lemke. That's going to put a man on first and second now with Belliard up. Can he come through? All right, so they're bringing in a pitch hitter for Belliard. It's going to be O'Brien now. Here we go. And O'Brien come through and tie this game up. We've had some close ones in the end the last two games. He rolls a 868 will be a strikeout and that is the end of the game of game three with the cleveland indians winning five to two taking a two games of one lead in the 1995 world series thanks for watching everybody and tune in for the next game